Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I'm just down at my mate's, I've uh, got something on with him, but I'm going to do a quick video while I'm waiting for him. I'm going to do a video on the current 10 trainers who I rate in the country at the moment. Now obviously you certain trainers they don't he don't listen it's an argument that people have right certain trainers are not better than other trainers the fighter makes the trainer but it's up to the trainer to keep on top of the fighter to keep him in peak condition but when that when that boxer goes home at night right you cannot i repeat you cannot see what he's eating or what he's doing if he's partying or if he's shoving cocaine up his nose or if he's got bitches on go or if he's going out getting pissed up or if he's creeping down to the fridge at middle at night and uh, and having a bite of a chocolate muffin like Carl Froch used to do he said I'd do that and then I'd see it in my stomach he says oh I'd feel that I'd done something wrong he said you train a bit harder the next day but sometimes your body just needs that bit of sugar in it doesn't it but I'm going off track here so no one of these trainers are better than any other trainers um, before I start mentioning these trainers here uh, some of them have not got a lot of experience for example I've not got Josh Whale in here because he's not experienced enough yet as a pro trainer I've not got Richard Towers in here yet because he's not trained anybody in a fight yet so you can't put them in but these are the top 10 trainers in the country at the moment that I rate at the moment now obviously you're gonna have Adam Bove in there aren't you at number 10 but it could be anybody's it, you don't have to take it as oh he's better than him this, this is just how I look at it at the moment and some people like I said some are better than others but You've got to go on him for reputation, haven't you? Adam Booth! Adam Booth! Go to Adam Booth! <laughs> I love it when Ultra Tech Sports Raw does that. But Adam Booth, you'd have Adam Booth in there, wouldn't you? Now, I've not got Chris Smedley in here because Chris Smedley's inactive, but he's a great trainer and he had Liam Cameron all the way through his career. But Chris is inactive, so he doesn't make my top 10 at the moment. Still a good trainer, though. And he's done his time, hasn't he? He's not one of them trainers that's up people's arses at after parties. You know all them boxers, ex-boxers who turn trainers. They go to after parties and what they do, they pull they pull certain promoters pants down and they get their tongue where I didn't crack of their assholes. Well, that's what some people do, but Chris Smedley's not like that. Mick Whale's not like that. You know, there's people that don't even go to after parties, but Don Charles, he's not like that. But, but anyway, Derry Matthews, I rate Derry Matthews. I, I've seen him close up. I think he's really, really good trainer. I think he's gonna go all the way, Derry Matthews, so I rate him. I rate Ryan Rhodes. You know, he's been there, seen it, done it. I mean, if Ryan Rhodes fought today, he'd be a world champion with all the belts at 154 without a shadow of a doubt. You get it? Without a shadow of a doubt, Ryan Rhodes would be uh, a top, top 154 fighter today. But I've seen him close up, I've seen him with fighters, I've heard things, and I've heard he's really good. You know, I, I get to hear things, I am watching and listening from afar. You know, people tell me things, there's a lot of canaries in South Yorkshire. Trust me, there is, I can show you that. Some canaries don't even go to prison and they bang at it, but we'll get to that another day. But getting on to Ryan Rhodes, he deserves to be in here, but he hasn't really achieved much as a professional trainer yet, but he's doing well, so and I like him. Billy Nelson, I like Billy Nelson, he had Ricky Burns, didn't he? And he's done other great things in sport. He's brought Bacoli back, but not really fighting anybody, is he? But he's beating the drum for Bacoli, but my advice to Billy Nelson is this. Keep doing what you're doing, Billy, and you will get there. I rate Billy Nelson as a trainer. I really, really rate him. There's going to be people in this list here that are going to be, Oh, you didn't put me in there, Porky. How dare you? How dare you? Well, look, it's just life, isn't it? 
So get over it. I'm going to put Mick Whale in there. Mick Whale's in the list. Uh, Mick Whale's been at it, hasn't he, for 20 odd year, getting up to 30 year, right? Amateur trainer, professional trainer. He's brought his son through all the way. He's trained him. It's a great story. It's a great father-son story all the way through. And these people, they never had no favours off anybody. They've only just started getting a proper promoter around them now with Dennis. They've always been a way fighter. I mean, what sort of person sends them to France to fight? You don't do that, do you? Right? You don't do that. Now, if you've got a kid like Josh Whale, you get him fighting in a weight that he's comfortable at. And you get him home support because he sells tickets, doesn't he? He's a massive, massive ticket seller. He brings a lot to the table as regards sponsorship. He's like a new man. You know, and he'll be an IBO in, uh, international champion, might even be intercontinental IBO, 29th for this month. That's a free weight champion, bantam, super bantam and featherweight. So as far as I'm concerned, Mink Whale's done a fantastic job with jo Josh Whale and people need to get behind Josh Whale. And all you people are okay, saying to me, Porky, I'm hardcore, I'm hardcore. Well, no doubt I'll be seeing you on 29th, will I? If not, come see me. But Mick Whale gets in there. Now, I'm not going to number them actually. I'm just going to read people out who I rate actually. Mick Whale, Robert McCracken. You'd have to put Robert McCracken in for what he's achieved, Danny, with Carl Froch, Anthony Joshua. But Carl Froch were a world amateur bronze. He were icing people at world amateur level. He were number one middleweight in the world, ranked number one at one point. He missed out on Olympics bats. 2000 Olympics by thinness of a piece of paper. You were robbed. Should have gone to the Olympics. He would have won gold that year. But let me tell you this, Robert McCracken. Yeah, he had it on a plate with him, and he with. Uh, oh, two seconds. it were old Bill then but Robert McCracken you'd have to say that uh, Robert McCracken de deserves to be in there for what he's done yeah Carl Froch was Olympic bronze Joshua uh, world, world amateur bronze uh, Anthony Joshua were world amateur gold and he took them to being unified champions at the super middleweight and, and uh, super middleweight and Anyway, but as far as I'm concerned, Robert McCracken, he's a fantastic trainer. Could he be a little bit more technical? I don't know. I mean, Robert McCracken's style, you can see with Carl Froch and Joshua. They both fight very, very similar. They're both fit and they're both straight one-two merchants, aren't they? But I think there's a lot in, there's a lot of Robert McCracken in, sorry, there's a lot of Joshua in Carl Froch. I see a lot in him when I see him fight. They have that uh, will, don't they? But what happened in New York? I don't know. He quit, didn't he, Joshua? So maybe he, uh, maybe he isn't as tough as Carl Fox. I don't know, but they're both gym rats. So you'd have to give him credit. Now, I'm going to slip Glyn Rhodes in here, right, for the simple reason that Glyn Rhodes is a pal of mine and, and we get on really well. But, and I see a lot of him, but... I'm going to put Glyn Rhodes in for a simple reason, he's got an MBE and he's done really well and he's been around years and he's not one of them who goes to after parties and kisses arse, he's not like that, he tells it straight, now there's, there's not enough people like that in boxing as far as I'm concerned, there's too many arse kissers, there's too many people kissing people's arses because they've got nowhere else to go, for example, <laughs> You know when Eddie Hearn's done with Dave Colwell, where's he gonna go? You can't go work with Frank Warren, can you Dave? <laughs> hey? You can't work with Frank Warren? And you don't even ring Dennis, dare you Dave? So, if Nicola were with me now, she'd cut that out, but Pork is his own man now. So, but no, Glyn Road, you gotta put him in there. Sheedy, Tommy Frank, and like I said, nobody's done Glyn Rhodes any favours whatsoever. 
boxing's his life. Nobody has done him any favours at all. But uh Peter Fury, you're gonna put Peter Fury in there, yeah. He's got Savannah Marshall, she's she's unbeaten, but he's got Yui, Yui's just been beat, but it's Pavekin, isn't it? And Yui's still only a kid, isn't it? Just turned 25. I'd have to put Peter Fury in there, wouldn't you, on past achievements. So Peter Fury's in there. Uh, Mark Tibbs. You put Mark Tibbs in there, won't you? He's gone 10 and 0 with Dillian White. Since Joshua beat Dillian White, Mark Tibbs has turned his life around. Uh, Dillian's on it. He's got him on pay per view. I mean, it's only through his wins he's got on pay per view, and he's kept him winning. He's kept him motivated. And Mark Tibbs comes from that royalty family, boxing royalty family, where they've got a good name in boxing. The proper proper people, as Dennis says. And he's fetched up around it, isn't he? I mean, what were he? A 22 and 2 fighter? So it's not like he doesn't know what he's on with, does he? Is it? So, but other than that, I rate Mark Tibbs as a trainer. And everybody knows that I rate Shane McGuigan. And this is why I've left him till last. I'm going to say, out of all these lot here, and don't take this the wrong way, all the other guys who are in the list. Because if we want to talk achievements and that, and, 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 and at a young age, I've got to say that Shane McGuigan is probably the most decorated trainer, not just in UK boxing, but in world boxing. Shane McGuigan is probably the best young trainer out there at the moment. At the moment. But that's boxing for you, isn't it? But, uh, so that's boxing for you, but it is what it is, isn't it? I've just had car uh, serviced. I've had some of that. Is it synthetic or whatever they call it, that? Right, expensive oil put in it. If you look after your engine, it'll look after you, won't it? So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it some up motorway now. I'm not too fast though. Not too fast. I don't want to go too quick, do we? So all you gimps out there, don't forget to send this in tip, please. I've already had them ain't getting in touch with me. <laughs> but remember, when they get in touch with you, they've got an old car registration, time and when. <laughs> so all you, all you junior, junior G men out there, <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, too much traffic. I don't know, We're running out of road, aren't we? Go on, get out of the way, Grandad. But yeah, I think they're, they're the best trainers at the moment in UK boxing. Uh, just my opinion, could be wrong. Because of other people you could add in that, Dominic Kingle. Fantastic at getting guys down to uh, the weight. He's probably a nutrition expert, isn't he, Dominic Kingle? But this is how I look at it. What sort of trainer puts puts a welterweight in with a killer like Golovkin? Two weight divisions up. What sort of trainer does that? What sort of person does that, eh? So as far as I'm concerned, he don't get in my top ten. So it is what it is, isn't it? So But what can you do? One of those things, isn't it? Don't forget to send the video into Old Bill. Keep sending them in. Uh, one of those things, isn't it? Ready for launch control then. Uh, other than that, I'm alright. But I like I've just said there, I think they're the top trainers in the country. So at the moment they all seem to be doing good. And you can't 
fault people that are doing good in life, can you? Alright? So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing.